I think the changes at Rensselaer reflect its history. We want our students to be able to look at, to define, to solve complex problems. So I got to hear Dr. Jackson talk about RPI. One of the things that she said that really stuck out in my mind was that it was small enough to be yourself here. I told people what some of the things I was doing when they were amazed. I think the future for Rensselaer is uh, really limitless. They said, they let you do that? <laughs> and I said, yes, they do. One of the things that I like about RPI is the interdisciplinary research. Low barriers actually make people interact well and make people think in different directions. It forms a mirror on the surface of the gel. Uh, we've done many different things, uh, things that I wouldn't have imagined. The constellations are groupings of faculty who research uh, in specific areas. It's hiring the best in particular disciplines and looking for complementary disciplines and then building critical mass. I work with people who are uh, political scientists, chemists and biologists. And we were um, fortunate to team up with some engineers who work in energy areas to actually make a battery that, out of paper. We have developed a new type of material with very low refractive index. And so that type of material has not existed before. It was a joint effort between different departments. Most discoveries are on the border between disciplines. Quick disconnect here is controlled by these two controlled. pneumatic actuators. Correct. What other aspects of the project are you working on? It's really fun to do. This whole idea of innovation in the 21st century is not going to come from just a bunch of smart people working in isolation. It's to bring together people who are very smart, very motivated, very focused. Trying to solve the big problems. And, and create this cauldron. And they put things together that have never been put together before in unique and facile ways to unlock hidden value. And out of it, we don't know what will come, but we know it will be important. I often go through the Alumni Hall of Fame where they have these pictures of very, very distinguished alumni. And it is amazing to see what people have done. You're going to see people coming out of Rensselaer creating whole new fields that didn't exist before. We're making the breakthroughs today that are going to shape what the world is tomorrow. Rensselaer graduates have been changing the world since 1824, and I think they'll be doing it for another 200 years in the future. Talk about something that's life-changing. It's not about changing the world for changing the world's sake. It's about you see something that's wrong or it needs to be fixed. Global warming, pollution, energy problems. And so you step in and you do it. All that can be solved through chemistry, and I want to be some sort of part of that. Students here certainly are different from any that I've ever encountered. Yeah, I can change the world, sure. I've already changed it a little bit. Amos Eaton was the first head of school, and he helped to found Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Interactive education, deep inquiry, the ability to then present what one has learned all of these things were part of Amos Eaton's original idea. And what I see us doing is bringing about a renaissance at Rensselaer. When Shirley Ann Jackson became president of Rensselaer, she already had in mind some of the things that were the nascent parts of what would become the Rensselaer Plan. The Rensselaer Plan is our strategic blueprint for the 21st century. We have spent literally hundreds of millions of dollars in expanding, improving, updating. We have built a magnificent facility to support biotechnology and the life sciences, the Center for Biotechnology and Interdisciplinary Studies. Of course, we have a focus on athletics. We're building just an incredible facility up in the East Campus Athletic Village. CC 
CNI is the Computational Center for Nanotechnology Innovations. Since we have now the 12th most powerful supercomputer center in the world. So if you look at the computational capability, it is tremendous. But it in and of itself doesn't mean anything. Equally important is the talent and the skill and the capability of both the faculty and the students who are able to take advantage of all that computational power. And I do uh, computational physics. So this is really uh, some kind of uh, um, infrastructure that uh, uh, very rare. Rensselaer has uh, proven to have a vision and has articulated that vision. We want our students to have a greater degree of multicultural sophistication. We have people that come from different countries. Just walking to campus, you hear Arabic, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Russian. We're becoming more global by asking our students to do studies abroad. To understand what they do and its linkage to larger global issues. A lot of people are interested in, in our background and where we come from. It's made me put my own engineering program into perspective and made me reflect upon what are the good things and what are the bad things with what I'm doing at home. It prepares them for exactly the kind of activities they're going to be faced with in their career. I thought, uh, you know, if you are an engineer, then you want to be precise. But when you are a scientist, you want to be imaginative. You know, Rensselaer is just this one big creative bubble, and the energy is there everywhere. It doesn't matter what department that you're in. It's doing combined with research and understanding. How do you make a picture of the problem? How do you make, how do you show a schematic? How do you show the inputs and outputs? These people are fostering a creative energy, and you feel that when you're here. Everybody is excited. Creative. The vision of the Experimental Media and Performing Arts Center, MPAC, came about in 2000. A world-class, classical and contemporary performing arts platform. It's an incredibly exciting step for Rensselaer to take. But it is also a research platform. You can see MPAC as a huge new instrument which was never built before. We know a lot about how to play this instrument, but like the tunes we are going to create with this instrument may change over time. It provides us with possibilities which are unforeseeable. If someone were to invent a pair of glasses here at Rensselaer that can allow you to see that creative spark, we, it would be blinding. Entrepreneurship is the primary source for most of the innovation that occurs. Risk taking, seeing the value proposition. Instead of just sitting and listening and thinking, oh yeah, I understand that, you really get to try it out and make mistakes and learn from them. Thinking about how one takes what one discovers or innovates and takes it out into the world. I have a startup company in the Rensselaer Business Incubator. It's called Incubative Design. Uh, it's a green startup company and we're commercializing packaging materials. We're producing a, a low-cost biodegradable replacement for styrofoam. It has direct application within the construction as well as packaging industries. When I first told my professor in Inventor Studio, he had a really fantastic reaction. Who ever heard of that? Growing materials. Looking more at the marketing and the business aspect of design. It, it gives you a better feeling of this is real, this is really happening. I make video games for a living. Today we have uh, more than 160 full-time employees and uh, we also made a little game this past year called Guitar Hero, which uh, has done extremely well. At Rensselaer I found that everything's more in my reach than I actually thought it was. Blue is the input. Is the direction that RPI has taken is really very exciting. I've seen more changes in the past four years at Rensselaer than I saw at my prior university in 21 years. We have wonderful opportunities here to drive the expansion and development of industry. It is a reality. We can change the world. Which you saw a little bit of what they've and done. Bringing them to this special place, this unique place, allows really amazing things to happen. It is energizing in a way that I hadn't seen before. And I love it. <laughs> and it's a beautiful place.